Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Career Mode here today for the Australian Grand Prix in what is going to be a very wet Australian Grand Prix. It is round three of the season for season three of this career mode. This is a grid though, we are on pole alongside Lando Norris. There's Ocon and George Russell, Schumacher and Verstappen, Sainz and Alonso, Bottas and Magnussen running out the top ten. Joe and Piastri, Gasly and Lewis Hamilton, Albon and Leclerc, Lawson and Sonoda, Stroll and De Vries, and the final row is Logan Sargent and Enzo Fittipaldi. So, it's a wet race here, full wet tyres are what will be in play, but it is meant to dry up towards the end of the Grand Prix. You can see now, this is our qualifying lap that puts us on pole position. And hopefully we can win. We started on pole last season here in Australia and we bottled it that day. Is it second time lucky? And it's lights out and everyone crawls off the line as we try and find some grip. Lando Norris from B2 has had an absolute stinker of a start. He's going backwards. Ock on now B2. We're sideways out of turn one as we try and find the grip on the exit of turn two. Ock on now further back we got away and we're still in the lead now it all went wrong here last season at turn three and it nearly has again as Ocon has to lift to avoid going into the side of us and it's nearly happened again one corner later nearly contact on the opening couple of corners here in Australia as now we try and just find some grip but further around the lap as we go down the new straight this is Michael Schumacher's start, he's now up into P3 and what a launch he has got then a couple of positions gained and then round the outside of the Mercedes nearly contact with George Russell but gets the job done and is up into P3 the old Rainmaster as he once was now they lap 2 this is Yuki Tsunoda engine going and bang that Ferrari engine after just two well one and a half laps really has gone bang and he is on the sidelines for the rest of the Grand Prix as we run wide there coming out of turn four as we struggle to find some grip now this is Joe into turn three and he's looped it round and spun round and now everyone behind is just stopped in the track they forgotten how to turn the steering wheel and that has brought out the safety car and in turns has also brought out a red flag as well drama here in australia our first red flag of the season and what that means is we've skipped the crossover point and we will restart the race on inters so here we go then we restart and we're lights out and away we go for the second time here in Australia we struggle to get away but Michael Schumacher has lit up the start once again around the outside of Esteban Ocon in the Alpine he goes and he's up into P2 it's now a Lamborghini 1-2 as we get away again now that he's behind Michael Schumacher Carlos Sainz trying to go around the outside of Ocon there and it looks to be job done and it is job done Ocon dropping from P2 to P4 in the early stages of the restart now this is Joe with his spin earlier on bringing out the red flag he's now pulling it pulling off and out of the Grand Prix and it's a double DNF then for Alfa Romeo shocking here in Australia for him maybe that has something to do with the earlier incident maybe this is us though, we were keeping the gap to around 4 seconds between us and Schumacher and we've made a mistake, we've spun the car around we try and find some grip to get back onto the track and Michael Schumacher's hit us so has Carlos Sainz, Schumacher's out, Sainz is out we've dropped backwards, we've got a penalty and that's going to be our second red flag of the day so this is a replay now of what happened we nearly lose it on the curb there nearly and then we must just run wide we drop the back end spin round 
try and find some grip to get going again and Margaret Mark has just driven into the side of us. Carlos Sainz also in a recent party in that this is Shri Mark's perspective then from round the corner. It's not his fault, he just had absolutely nowhere to go and we've wiped out our teammate essentially there. And now Carlos Sainz also being caught up in the incident as well. He just had nowhere to go either hits the back of us and wipes himself out as well. Now this is Ocon's point of view as he comes round and it's just going to be like Moses as three cars just go into the wall or out of the race. He has to dodge his way through the debris like Lightning McQueen. And now Fernando Alonso is slowing down and just turning to the back of the McLaren and then turns into the back of the Ferrari. Alonso having a bit of a dim moment there. But the rain now has stopped. So I don't think it's going to be long before we see dry tyres here, but it is still very wet on the track. As we get going again, Ocon now leads to Grand Prix. We have a penalty, so if it does dry up, that's going to be a factor. But we go around the outside of Ocon, retake the lead of the Grand Prix. The red flag helping us, otherwise we would have been down and out in this race. But we lead the Grand Prix once again here in Australia. Now, the end of lap 16, this is Logan Sargent boxing through the mediums. He feels like it's dry enough for the dry tyres. I very much disagree as we nearly drop it coming out of that quick chicane. Look at the track, it's still so damp now. But you've got to follow the crowd in races like this. As Alcon tries to go around our outside. And now he's left vulnerable to Lewis Hamilton there. Behind. No, George Russell behind. But Alcon fends him off. But like a wise man once said, you've got to be on the right tyres at the right time. So although I don't think it's ready, we've got to go for it. As we box now on the end of lap 17. For our one and... Well, our third step of the day, our first really, because the other two have been under red flag. So we have to sit here now as we serve our stop go penalty. Everyone's floating through, we're going to go on to softs. Everyone else going on to mediums. As we come out, and that's a bit of an unsafe relief. As we come out, ghosted between the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton and the McLaren of Piastri. And now we just need about finding some grip as there's just 10 laps to go now in this very dramatic Grand Prix. It's down the inside of us, goes Oscar Piastri, we hold it to the outside of him. And keep in mind for now, up is the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc ahead of us. As now this is Albon and Hamilton, Sergeant and Hamilton going with to a leave in, and we've caught the Ferrari napping off Leclerc and Piastri's followed us free. Leclerc's lost two positions there. Up next is Logan Sargent and we're going to dispatch him very quickly as we send it. It's so, so late. Down the inside at turn four, turn three. Piastri follows us through and now this is where I realise we made a big mistake. We don't have the pace on these soft tyres, the medium seem to work, my thinking was cold track, you need the softest compound, but as I found out in Bahrain and in Saudi Arabia, this car doesn't like soft tyres as we nearly light it up and now we're nearly contact with Leclerc in his Ferrari, this car just doesn't work on the soft tyres but it works on mediums so we're just gonna have to hope for the best now do some defending we don't have the pace to catch the Williams unfortunately because we were just left defending the McLaren Bottas now in his Red Bull is getting his way through he's got Leclerc and now he's on the back of me and Piastri and he's got an unbelievable exit there but Bottas can't find a way through on 
be Australian. His home Grand Prix as well, Piastri. So he wants a good result. We're weaving everywhere to stop Piastri and Bottas getting past us. And Bottas has overtaken Piastri now. And now Bottas through the new section of track has overtaken us now, heading into the quick chicane. And that may well be it as we try and go to the inside. Now around the outside we re-overtake Valdry Bottas. And it's very odd to see him in the Red Bull. As now we head down into turn three. We try and hold it around the outside and we do hold it around the outside. And now look at the track. You wouldn't believe that this was full wet conditions at the start. As now this is Bottas getting a good exit. As we go on to the final lap, Bottas overtakes us. We're going to keep the outside line and break later and swoop around the outside of Valtteri Bottas. But now this man, George Russell, kept his nose clean whilst everything was so dramatic round him. And he's going to make it back to back wins in Australia. But now where are we going to finish? Currently P9. Bottas goes to the outside of SB, squeezing right to the outside. Break later, give him a little nudge, and now Piastri, can he get the final point at his own Grand Prix? Yes, he can. He overtakes Valtteri Bottas. Is now into the final two corners. Can we get the exit, or can Piastri pick up another point? We get the exit. We're going to finish P9. A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? Well, they managed their tyres to absolute perfection. A tyre whisperer, in fact. That is what set them apart. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So that's been your Australian Grand Prix and what a dramatic race that was. George Russell wins from Lando Norris after his shock of a start. Gasly P2, fair play to him, he actually stayed out an extra lap so maybe the track weren't ready. We're P9, we bottled it twice in that race essentially from the lead, the contact with Schumacher and then of course that led to the penalty and the strategy then, just doing the wrong strategy. I don't know why I thought the sauce was a good idea coming back from what happened with the last two races with the softs just not working on this year's car for some reason whether it's my driving style or what Schumacher, Sainz, Sinoda and Joe your four DNFs in the Grand Prix Schumacher maybe could have got a podium if we hadn't have wiped him out maybe the one two was also on as well George Russell now leads the Drivers World Championship ahead of Fernando Alonso and then it's us, Hamilton and Lando Norris. Schumacher all the way down in P9. He hasn't had the best of races so far this season. And this would have probably been his best result. Down at the back, still many drivers still yet to score after the opening three races. In terms of the constructors then, and Mercedes still lead that. Aston Martin have now jumped us to P2. We're now down to P3. Red Bull really turning the season around so early on already rocketing up the order as well there's still three teams still yet to score but that's been your Australian Grand Prix then best win of the season so far I think so we very much bottled it like we did last season but we made contact with Sonoda when he was our teammate we could have maybe won that day and we could have won today but it wasn't to be we go though to China next for the first Chinese Grand Prix since 2019 which was F1's 1000th Grand Prix and I'll see you then goodbye